What's up, Moto Academy? AJ, Dr. J. Kavanaugh. Uh, my question today is pretty simple. It's just, is it possible to overanalyze your thoughts? And is that a trap that you can run into? Thanks. Great question. Great question. <laughs> he's young, too. Question. He's young. He always asks good questions for a young kid. How old? He's got to be, what, 17? Not even? Uh, what the heck did he say? Either I guessed way. that the other day he's, nine, he's eight, in between 18 and 20. And before you even answer it, the fact that he's even asking this question, mm -hmm. he could have done so many other things other than took the time to grab his phone, hit record, and send that question in. He doesn't, I don't, I hope if you're listening to this, I. what's his first name? Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, if you're listening to this, I can tell you right now, you are just the fact that you're even considering the importance of this. If you stay the course and you listen to AJ or myself or do your own, Grow, you know, grab Think and Grow Rich or grab Eckhart Tolle's or go on YouTube. If, you, if you're more of a listener or audio guy, just listen. I give you my word, and I'm sure AJ would validate this. If I even was close to asking a question at your age, I can't even fathom what my life would be like right now. I was a oh. late bloomer. You, oh, you yeah. weren't, I don't think you were a late bloomer. I think you were I think you're actually an early bloomer. I was yeah. a late bloomer. I was probably like 30s. Well, if you consider that the majority of people never get their period, blooming at any point is you're ahead of the curve. True. But for you, so at don't your be age, hard on yourself. First of all, if it if you think you if you are getting old, it's never too late. Yes. I don't care if you're 90 years old. If you're still alive and breathing, and you want to be a better person, you can still be a better person, and you can make change. Mm -hmm. uh, for him to figure it out at that age. And to begin asking the right questions at that age is just a huge head start. For I sure. I mean, it's a, it'd be a 10 year head start on what I had. So why do you think we overthink? When you were overthinking, because you used to be a big, because you're a smart guy, which is a kind of a curse sometimes, mm -hmm. you probably can speak to what, what causes overthinking more than, better than anyone. Well, what? I think, uh, how do I explain this? Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Christmas Day, cold plunge from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm struggling, <laughs> and I'm really struggling. Oh, just wanted to say how grateful I am for the entire Moto Academy community this year has been another amazing year, and we couldn't do it without all of you guys. So thank you very much. It's been an awesome journey, and it's, it's really just started. So as a thank you, tonight we are giving away an all-expense-paid trip that you can win from anywhere in the world. We're going to pick a lucky subscriber tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern inside of the Moto Academy app. Fly you in in March to go to Daytona Supercross with myself, the entire Moto Academy team, attend a Moto Academy class, do some one-on-one -on -one training with myself, and we're going to cover all the costs. You can win from anywhere in the world. Just go to club.themotoacademy.com, subscribe, hop in the live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. You don't have to be in the live stream to win. But for a good time, hanging out with the Moto Academy crew. So if you can make it, come join us. 6 p.m. Eastern, club.themotoacademy.com. I guess the best. I, I was those, I was the thoughts. I was so ego-driven and so, I was so ego-driven that the, when the thought would come up, I was that thought. If I was angry, you better believe that I was as angry as that person could get. And I was being angry for a while because I was just angry. I wasn't observing the feeling of anger come up, analyzing it, getting to the root of the anger very quickly, and then letting that anger go away and not attaching to it. Um, I was it. If I was scared and nervous and anxious for a race, I was a nervous, anxious mess. Uh, my legs would get weak. I would feel like I was going to throw up or crap my pants. Couldn't tell which one was going to come first. Um, palms would sweat. I would feel just they couldn't eat, couldn't stomach food on race day. Now, what were you thinking about that caused all those visceral effects? I was thinking, uh, I, I was c combining future and past of um, worried about the next race that was coming up or the, the what, the, yeah, what the next race that was coming what up. What were you worried about the race? What was so worrisome about that? Like break it down even further. Um, I was worried about that I wasn't as good as all the people that were around me. That was one big thing, reading the jerseys and seeing that like I was trying to put myself before that race even started. I basically would mentally put myself in a finishing position. 
then I would try to like visualize the race because I thought that that was the right thing to do. So now I'm into the past, like pulling up old bad memories and like visualizing the race out of all the bad memories that I've had from the past. So therefore you just feel like crap the whole day. So you are the emotion. You're over you're over analyzing it, but in the wrong type of way to where you're it, mm -hmm. where you can you can not over analyze it, but you can deeply analyze a feeling or an emotion from the observer perspective, and that is a very positive experience. Very po and in that case, I would argue that you cannot over analyze it because you'll analyze it to the point where you figure out you get to the bottom of it, and then you let it go. Mm -hmm. And when you get good at that, you shorten the, that emotional refractory period from years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes to seconds to where an emotion can come up. You can you can get through it in the blink of an eye in a second. That's high level. The levels to that would be some people have the bad year because they're overanalyzing and they are their emotions for that whole freaking year. Right. Uh, and then there's every step in between. But the observing is uh, step step one. And that's the most important step. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, make sure you go download them on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to watch full episodes or be a person that sends in your own video submission, go to club.themotoacademy.com and subscribe to join the Moto Academy family today.